President John Fitzgerald Kennedy once stated that change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. There is much wisdom in that simple statement, and most of us, if we are honest, recognize its truth. Change is a constant in human life, from conception and birth to natural death. As change affects us as individual human beings, so too it affects the human communities, organizations, and institutions of which we are a part. Our church, our diocese, our parishes are no exception to this reality. Throughout the changes we experience, however, some things do not change. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The Gospels, the truth of his teachings, the truths of our faith upon which he has built his church. The challenge for us as Catholics is to embrace the enduring, changeless truth of God's revelation while it speaks to us in new and different ways in every generation. The past becomes the present, and the present shapes the future in a living faith that St. Augustine calls a beauty ever ancient, ever new. That challenge has prompted me as Bishop of the Diocese of Trenton to launch two simultaneous initiatives for our diocese intended to preserve our timeless Catholic faith as it informs, strengthens, and guides our local church well into the future. The first of these initiatives is called faith in our future. Corresponding to the beginning of a new year, faith in our future is an effort to call upon the clergy, religious, and faithful of the Diocese of Trenton to reflect upon the ways that we experience, live, and express our Catholic faith together as the circumstances of the past and present give way to the new and changing realities that we face as a local church. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all. And that fundamental and foundational source of our unity cannot be lost or compromised or sacrificed as we adapt to changing times and circumstances. We have faith in our future. And as every generation of Catholics before us, our faith must endure even when its expression may change. The second of these initiatives is called Faith to Move Mountains. Recalling the parable of the mustard seed in the Gospels, Faith to Move Mountains is an effort to ensure that we will have the resources necessary as a diocese to look to the future of our Catholic faith with confident assurance and conviction that it will move mountains that stand in its way. We cannot fool ourselves into believing that the road ahead of us will not require new and greater sacrifice, new and greater investment, new and greater effort on our part. The mountains loom large, and the challenges our Catholic faith confronts grow more daunting every day. There are many indicators that the time has come for us to step up to this challenge, but here are the most significant. In a diocese of almost 850,000 people, only about one in five Catholics attend Mass on an average weekend. 52 parishes of 107 have more funerals than baptisms. The diocese is currently 15% Hispanic and growing in that direction. There is only one priest for every 1,300 families, and 65 of our 166 priests will be retiring in the next 10 years. 39% of our parishes operate at a deficit. Parishes owe $60 million to the diocese in unpaid bills. The gospel costs little to believe in and preach, but if we are to continue to be the light of the world, and to build that city on a hill that Christ asks of us, we must respond to the needs required to move mountains, to bring our faith to life in ways that our world can see and taste and touch and feel. 
A bishop can dream dreams, but without his people, that is all they will ever be. And so I invite every Catholic in the Diocese of Trenton to share the dream in ways that will make it a reality for our local church. It will take time and effort of the whole diocese, like never before. It will take sacrifice and commitment of the whole diocese, like never before. It will take gratitude for what has been and is, and the bold vision for what will be of the whole diocese, like never before. And it will take prayer. Everyone and all of us together in the diocese, like never before. And when we do this together as a diocese, like never before, faith in our future will become faith to move mountains. And so may God's will be done and his blessings be ours.